So the day before yesterday, I tried Fragrance World Mocha Wood for the first time and I was pretty much blown away. Yesterday, I gave it a full wearing. I was wearing this fragrance all day long. And when I say all day long, I was able to smell this fragrance for at least eight hours. So even the performance is really good. And now I can easily say that this is probably the best bang for buck fragrance that I have smelled so far. I don't like this brand very much, Fragrance World, mostly because this is a brand that's trying to clone popular fragrances, but they're doing it in such a way that their bottles are trying to trick you into thinking you're buying the original fragrance. Now, I don't like talking about these kind of companies, but I saw this bottle, this fragrance, it's been out for a while now, a couple of years, three, maybe more, but I finally decided to try it and I can easily say that the bottle alone, it's worth the money. I mean, take a look. It doesn't just look great. It feels great also. Take a look at the lid. The lid is just, it's not metal. It's just a heavy plastic. It's very, very well made. It's just, it, they even have like a logo on top of the sprayer it's just usually with these middle eastern brands the bottles are crap i mean i got this as well detour noir by al haramein but the bottle is just a joke it even feels very very cheap but this this is cheaper than detour noir and i even think it smells better the smell even matches the name Mocha Wood. This is the name of the fragrance, guys. And I really, really like it. I think it's just... How is this fragrance even possible? How can it be so cheap? How can it be so cheap considering the quality of the bottle and the quality of the juice, the performance, the way it smells? A woody, chocolatey, ambery fragrance with hints of orange. Sometimes it even feels boozy. And spicy also think it might have some cardamom gives the fragrance like an like a sparkling effect it's just amazing this fragrance i cannot believe i waited so long to test this fragrance but i was mainly put off by this brand but this i paid for it 15 or 16 pounds including shipping so it's it's ridiculous 100 ml of the parfum this is a unisex fragrance and i'm not sure if it's trying to clone something I've definitely smelled fragrances in the same genre. I've seen other reviewers talking about this fragrance as being a clone of some Boadicea, the Victoria's fragrances, but I'm not sure. The bottle may have been inspired by the bottles of Boadicea, the Victoria's, but the smell, I'm not sure. I haven't smelled many fragrances from that brand. If this is a standalone fragrance, even if it's a clone, it's just a great fragrance and if you have been watching my channel i have brought you this fragrance a while ago this is dirham by arlo zafra so by the time when i filmed the video about this fragrance i thought this was my best finding and one of the best bang for buck fragrances but now comparing it to this one i mean just look at the bottles <laughs> this one is just you know <laughs> even the smell this still this smells very nice, but I'm sure in the Middle East, probably the people are bored of this kind of smell. It, it's probably a generic smell in the Middle East, this one. But here in the West, it's a bit more special. But with this one, with mocha wood, this one is a bit more westernized. It has oud also, but the oud is like a designer wood. It's very wearable and nice. It just gives the fragrance a, a, a hint of a special smell. It tends to smell more like a niche rather than a Middle Eastern fragrance. I'm now smelling Detour Noir and in comparison to Mocha Wood, this feels a lot more synthetic. I've seen two more from this line. There's also a green sapphire and I think there's also a violet sapphire. Let me know if you have tried those two fragrances. Let me know if you have tried any of these from this line from Fragrance World. 
I need to check those two. I'm still trying to understand.